Hey there, what's up everybody? Today we're gonna learn how to create a realistic looking gloss material in Blender Cycles. You are watching episode 1 of the shader series on cgbookcase.com, a website, a blog, a collection of high quality textures and 3D models helping you to create better 3D art. As always you can download the finished file on cgbookcase.com. So let's open up Blender. The setup is the following. We have a nice 3D model from SketchUp, which you can download on the link under the video and the subdivision surface modifier with a level 1 of it. Then we have a camera pointing to the 3D model with a focal length of 72mm. As lighting, I use an HDR environment map from hdrlabs.com. I also use the filmic color management, which helps me deal better with highlights. So to start, Let's switch the timeline down here to the node editor. Select the 3D model and press new to create a new material. Also make sure that you have the material icon and the object icon enabled. Delete the default diffuse node and add a refraction node by pressing shift and A. By the way, you can see all shortcuts I use in the bottom right hand corner down here. Then we mix it with a transparent shader. You can do this by pressing ALT and moving the right mouse button if you have the node wrangler enabled. So if you haven't enabled it yet, press Ctrl ALT U, go to the add-ons tab and search for node wrangler. Check the tip and press save user settings. Then we add a RGB node, connect it to both the color inputs and choose a nice orangey color. Next we need to add some reflections, and we can do this by adding a glossy shader. Mix it with the previous nodes and add a layer rate node. We want the reflections to be more prominent at a glancing angle because that's how materials work in real life, so we connect the facing to the factor of the mixed node. Normally we use the Fresnel output for this, but it has some difficulties with ne negative normals, so I always use the facing output with some RGB curves, which I adjust until they look like the Fresnel lab output. To add some variation to the roughness of the reflections, we add a Musgrave texture and the texture coordinate node. Connect the object output to the vector input of the Musgrave texture. You can preview the texture by Ctrl Shift clicking on the node. Then increase the scale and detail, bring the dimensions all the way down to zero and set the lacunarity to about 1.4. This should give us a nice and natural dirty looking black and white mask. Connect it to the roughness of the glossy shader and drop a color ramp between the nodes. Darken the whites a bit, which then makes the glossy shader less rough. The last thing we need to do is to add some volume absorption, which will color the material in the figure parts of our 3D model. So to do this, add a volume absorption node. Then increase the density a bit and set the color to a darker orange. Connect the volume output to the volume input of, of the shader output node. I think we're done at this point, so press F12 to render the image and we've now created a realistic gloss shade. Alright, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. See you in two weeks with another tutorial, so don't forget to subscribe to my email list or to my YouTube channel.